we think that they will attack today or tomorrow. And this is why people are, are advised not to go out on the streets. This is a law. And this is why um, our military is uh, getting ready. And the most upsetting point here right now is that we are ready to fight. We have been training and we have enough weaponry and we are uh, part of the resistance team. We are ready for a siege if it happens because we have enough supplies, food and water for like a two week or two, three week siege. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing that we can do with the missiles going from the air. And this is why we have been asking for help and support because everything that is our control, we have done. We have done the preparation and we are willing to fight and we are willing to spill the blood. However, with what is happening right now behind my back, what is happening in Kyiv skies right now, this is something that we cannot do anything with. This is where we do need jets, we do need support, we do need additional air force protection because I feel just helpless because it is out of my control, absolutely out of my control what is happening and what is about to happen. And this is why we have been pleading, continuously pleading for, for no-fly zone and for additional support to get, because there is nothing, there is no money in the world that could buy us the ability to resist Russians in the air right now.